Hey guys, it's Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you a Battlefield Hardline video called Budget Classes, where I build a class for a budget that you guys tell me in the comments. And today I'm bringing you guys a 50k budget on the Operator class. So the first gun that I got was the SG553. It costs $21,600 on the cop side. Um, I've never tried this gun. It's not OP or anything, so I really want to see, you know, how it is. And also, for my sidearm, I had the G17. I unlocked it with the Operator 2 assignment, but you can really use any pistol or special gadget thingy you want. And then for the first gadget, we have the Defibrillator. You're going to have to purchase this for $14,400. And when you purchase this, you also unlock the criminal version of, the, of it, the syringe. And your second gadget, you don't have to buy the first aid pack. So you're really going to be a medic here, reviving your teammates and healing them. And so the grenades I used was the uh, gas grenade and then I also used the, me the knife for the melee weapon. You can buy this if you have some extra um, extra money. It's going to add on another 10k. So for the criminals, I bought the AKM for $13,000. No, it's $12,000. It's a really good deal. Um, you know, a really classic weapon. So I looked forward to using it. And for my sidearm, I had the G17, as I said earlier. And then I bought the, when you buy the defibrillator, you get the revive, as I said earlier, the syringe thing. And then also uh, for gadget two, I got the uh, medic pack thing, first aid pack, yeah. So yeah, so um, the total cost of, of this was $48,000 for the guns and the gadgets. But if you want to add on the grenade, gas grenades and the knife, and the knife, it's going to be about 60k. So here I have some gameplay, you know, just TD, uh, TDM on the block, 64 player. So it's all chaos. It's hard to get a good KD on this map, but it's just basically chaos. You just get a ton of kills. So I just wanted to show you how it performed. So this is the SG553. Um, straight up, it isn't that great. It takes four bullets to kill someone. Its max damage is 25. That is pretty weak even though the ro 933s is like 15 so it is good compared to that um it's minimum damage is 15 which drops down to ro 99 ro 933 level which sucks so it takes four to seven bullets to kill someone depending on your range the drop off starts at 30 meters so yeah it really sucks and also the velocity is only 430 meters per second which kind of sucks to be honest and well you know it's not that bad but uh, and also the max size is 31, uh, rate of fire, 700 RPM, not that bad, even though it's not really that good for an assault rifle, despite, I guess it's like, you know, default, but guns like the M16A3 definitely, you know, would outclass this. I get killed by a ton of people, um, using, uh, you know, M16s or M416s, so... Yeah, I guess I don't want to say if I'd recommend this yet because it is very good if you only have, um, very good if you only have 20k to spend and you really want something besides the RO933, which I really did. I want to just get any gun besides it. So, yeah, and also with the, with your, you don't really need, uh, your sidearm that much. There, I got a really good, uh, like, multi kill. But anyway, uh, the revive and the med kit med kits are really useful like you can get a lot of points for them too the longer you hold the defibrillator or the syringe up the more points you get for the revive um but sometimes when you revive someone you get shot in the back so you need to be wary of that um and the med kits you know once i once like um i dropped them in my spawn and i got like 500 points for healing because like anyone who's all my team was like spawning there and because it's such a small map you usually stay in your spawn area and everyone was using it and healing it and healing it and healing yeah um healing with it so i got a lot of points and uh so back to the sg553 the main thing that you're going to be using in this class um the reload is relatively you know it's uh two to three seconds uh, could be worse, could be better. Uh, and then the recoil is where it kind of gets weird. This gun kind of shoots like a battle rifle, and 
don't automatically think, oh, I need to like get all these attachments for it. It's not that bad. It's not like any, like the battle rifles are really bad. But the recoil is there, so you may need to tame it a bit. And that's about it with the uh, SG553. I'm going to move on with, to the AKM gameplay soon. And uh, yeah, see, I did relatively well. So yeah, we're back on the block. I kind of chose the same map and like stuff because A, it's, you know, really good for showing the weapon and I didn't want to say, I wanted to be, it to be the same, like the same kind of thing uh, so that I couldn't say, you know, the map helped me or anything. I just wanted to see how the gun alone did. So yeah, the AKM, um, its general stuff is, its max damage is 36, minimum damage is 25, the drop off starts 30 meters, just like the uh, SG-553. Uh, but it does a lot more damage. As you can see, 36, um, it only takes three to four bullets to kill someone. Even at the, even at 50 meters, it takes just four bullets to kill someone, which is really good. Almost battle rifle, uh, almost like a battle rifle. I think with battle rifles, you need two shots up close, which really is unrivaled, but this, the recoil is there. And I thought the AKM would have a lot of recoil because of, like, it's, uh, this, it just seems like a weapon that would. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it didn't actually have that much recoil. I didn't even notice it in-game. I noticed the SGs more, and statistically it does have less recoil. It has a lot of left recoil though, but anyway, yeah, so f the fire rate of the AK-47 is- AKM, excuse me, is 600 RPM, which is pretty good. It's only 100 less than the SG-553, and you know, that's, that's really good for a uh, AK-47-like gun. So yeah, it's it hits really hard, and if you can learn to control it, because I admit, when I first had it, I was getting like two kills a game, because I was shooting everywhere, but you need to learn to like be easy on the trigger and not shoot too much. So overall, the AKM is better. I wanted to play more games with it than I did with the S SG. Like, I played like five games with the SG-553 and only one of them did I like enjoy myself. So in my opinion, save up your money and buy the M16A3 for the cop side and then save money by getting the AKM on the criminal side. So I hope this helps guys. If this does well, I'll do another video and thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Thank uh, bye.